first on CMC interview in Capital co-founder and chairman Tom Ricketts. He's also chairman of the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Tom, Rick, Tom, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Oh, it's great to be here. So, so uh, reading through the, the press release and some other information around this, the, the, the main reason for the deal is, is to boost your tech capabilities. Is that fair? Oh, well, that's part of it. I mean, I think it's one of the uh, one of the few mergers where one plus one really does equal three because it's such a great fit for both companies. Um, like, first of all, I want to say uh, congratulations to the CEOs, John Dupre and Gurindu Ahawalia of, uh, of 280. They did a great job. Their teams worked really hard to get this done. But, but the reason it works so well is in capital has always been about uh, using technology and user-friendly product design to democratize the investment markets. You know, whether that's in traditional taxable fixed income corporate bonds, things we've done along those lines, or we're also the leading distributor of market-linked uh, securities for people that do equity investments that, that want to build in different types of return profiles. So we've always had that. But the fit with 280 is great because... They, first of all, they bring in a deep expertise in the municipal market where we've been more taxable historically. Their, their underwriting and trading of, of uh, municipal markets is completely accretive to everything we've ever done. And secondly, they bring in the bond nav system. And what the bond nav system is, is a, it's a cloud-based system where, you, where, they, where we aggregate different platforms, all the information on bonds from different platforms. So like whether you're an RIA or a wealth manager or an institution, if you're looking for a bid or an offer, you can get the maximum amount of information. And then once you put the trade in, once you put that order in, one of our traders will take a look and see if there's a way to get some price improvement for you. And in about 70% of the cases, you can find price improvement. So in the end, that's really good for investors. And for, if you're an RIA or a wealth manager or an institution like that, you should be on our platform. There's about 370 firms now, and we expect that'll grow rapidly over the next uh, few months. So it's a, uh, it's a great fit between two companies, and I couldn't be more excited about it. What about, Tom, retail investors? Clearly, there's been a, a massive surge over the last year. Are you expecting to capitalize on that surge and, and expect retail traders to embrace some of the more complex fixed income, uh, mortgage-backed security structured products moving forward? Well, it does, it does, you know, we do serve a lot of retail investors, individual investors, and our product design has always been about making uh, bonds simple, making bonds easy for people to purchase, making their, giving their advisors a lot of tools to create simple ladders and, and manage portfolios for, for investors. I don't see a lot of like uh, individual investors coming out and trading. I don't know if there's any GameStop analogies in the bond market. And we wouldn't recommend you do that. On the, on, in the fixed income world, what you want to do is be steady, build ladders, be consistent, don't time anything, don't try to outthink anybody, just be consistent. And with our, with our, with our equity link products or our market link products, there's a lot of ways you can hedge your exposure to the stock market um, through vari various return profiles. So anyway, I don't think a lot of traders are going to be running through this platform to uh, do GameStop type trades. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.